Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I dive into this lesson, giving our honor and our glory and our praise is due to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahusha, Ba'ashem, Ukakadash. Double honor to the great master and other apostles who teach him well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect to scatter abroad across the four winds of this planet that's adoring all things as soldiers of Mashiach, Yahweh, and the Holy Shalom to the sincere. Akim that's out there pushing this word, keep doing so across the four winds of this planet to those they may be. And the Holy Shalom to the sincere Akwathium that's out there resting their husbands, being a pillar of rest, keep doing so, okay? So, <clears throat> the title of this lesson, as you can see, is entitled Fear Not Little Flock. And the reason why I'm doing this lesson is because, man, uh, hey, man, hey, one thing we got to realize that, hey, the, it's the good. It's the Father's good pleasure to give us the kingdom, man. You know, it's the Father's good pleasure to give us the kingdom, man. Because hey, it was promised to us. It, it promised to us, man. Okay. So like, yeah, I'm up for lighting the incense. Like, you. Yeah. Come on. Hey, it, it, it's the Father's good pleasure to give us the kingdom, man. Because hey, the Lord wants the, the, the Yahweh wants to be a father over us, man. Okay. Why you think Yahweh shall say anything you ask in the Father's name, he may give it to you, man? Okay? The Lord is not going to upbraid anything from us, man, if we ask in Yahweh Shah's name, man. The Lord wants you to ask him, man. The Lord wants you to ask him for things, man. Okay? And we we ask we asking the Lord for hey to make it to the kingdom. Hey, the Lord wants to uh wants to be a father to us, man. Okay? Why you think? Why you think that? The, what do you think the new covenant consists of, man? The Lord said, "Hey, hey, they, I will, they, I will be to them as a, I will be their God, and they should be my people." Okay, so the Lord wants to be able to be a father over us, man. He wants to be able to take care of us, man. Okay, because we in captivity right now. Right now, this is the Lord giving us a whooping. Okay, because we were not sold to the other nations for our destruction, but because we moved the Lord to anger, man, okay? We pissed the Lord off, man. So, hey, that's why, you know, hey, the Lord wants to be a father over us, man. That's why the Lord said, fear not, little flock. It is the Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom, man, okay? Because, hey, the kingdom is already within us, man, okay? Now, let's go ahead and go into the scriptures, okay? Let's go ahead and go into the scriptures and get a book of uh, Luke, chapter, chapter, uh, what was the Luke chapter 12 and verse 32. And reason it says, <clears throat> I'm going to start at verse 32. Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Right. So, hey, it is the Lord, it's Yahweh, it's Yahweh Shah's good pleasure to give us the kingdom, man. Okay, it is our father's good pleasure to give us the kingdom, man. Okay, because hey, the reason being because hey, the Lord, the, 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 we just hey, we 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 are needing of it, man. Okay, because we ain't captivity catching hell left and right. Hey, we need that peace, man. Okay, it is the Lord's good pleasure to give us the kingdom, man. Okay, the Lord wants to see his people happy, man. He wants to see his children happy, man. Okay, but right now we just getting a whooping, man. But hey, this captivity almost over, man. Okay, the way things going now and the way things are falling apart in the part this damn place, man. Here in Babylon, man. Hey, that's how you know this place is over with, man. That's how you know our captivity and the and our imprisonment is almost over. Okay, because hey, it's our, it's the Lord's good pleasure to give us the kingdom, man. Okay, for those that 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 earn it, man. Because hey, you gotta earn it. Okay. If you're not the elect, then, hey, you're going to have to be bought for through the elect, man. And I pray and hope that we are part of the elect. Okay? Let's sit on that. <clears throat> Let's get the book of Luke 17, verse 21. Okay? And the reason it says... <clears throat> uh... Uh... Well, I'm going to go ahead and get it. And it says, Neither shall they say, Lo, here, or lo, there, for behold, the kingdom of Yahweh is within you. Okay? The kingdom, the, the, hey, the kingdom is within us, man. Okay? Hey, but soon, hey, the kingdom is going to be on this earth, okay? Right now, hey, 
we we spiritually, you know, we we, we the kingdom is re, re, is really within us, man. Okay, we gotta have faith in that, man. Okay, because hey, when 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 the Lord give us the new bodies, man, hey, the Lord's gonna dwell in us. Okay, He's gonna dwell in us, man. Okay, He's going to dwell within us, man. Okay, now that's it on that. Let's go and get the book of Luke. Book of Luke, chapter 14, verse, uh, I think this is it. I don't think this is it. It's lucky. I don't know why I had that on there. Hmm. I don't know why I had that on there. It's lucky. Little error right there. Okay, but let's go ahead and jump to the book of, uh, First Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 9, okay? And the reason it says, <clears throat> Luke chapter, oh, I mean, First Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 9. And the reason it says, but as it is written, I have not seen nor heard, neither have entered into the heart of men the things which Jehovah has prepared for them that loved him, that, that love him. Right. And as it is written, when it's a scripture say as it is written, that means it's written in the Old Testament somewhere. OK, it is written somewhere else and it's being requoted for you Christians that say, oh, the Old Testament is done away with. Why does the New Testament say as it is written? OK, because it's already been written already as in, in the Old Testament. OK, but, you know, that's another lesson within itself. But um. Uh, here it is. It says, "I have not seen nor heard, neither entered into the hearts and heart into men, the things that Yahweh had prepared for them that love Him." And what is those things that the Lord had prepared for us? The kingdom, man. Okay, peace, new bodies. Okay, our people being in order. Okay, those the things that the Lord has prepared for us, and in, in all the other extraordinary things, man. Okay, that we can't even fathom of, man. Okay. Like the things that we think now that we want in the kingdom, you know, Lord willing, hey, it's going to be 10 times, times 100 times, times 200 times better than what the hell, better than what you think you want, okay? Because, hey, the kingdom itself is going to be on a very immaculate, beautiful level, man, okay? The Lord's people is going to be on an immaculate, beautiful level, man, okay? The kingdom is going to be a world without end, okay? That's why it says, I have seen nor heard, but never they haven't eaten into the hearts of men, but the things that Yahweh had prepared for them that love him. Okay? Because, hey, what the Lord got for us, man, hey, it, it, it's going to be outstanding, man. Outstanding. Okay? It's literally going to be at the point. Uh, it's, we, this our uh, flesh, we, we think of this stuff, you know, within this mortal flesh. You know what we gonna have, but man, we can't even fathom. Okay, okay, we can't even fathom. Okay, because the kingdom is gonna be on a whole different level, man. Okay, it ain't, it ain't man. This world ain't gonna have shit compared to the kingdom, man. Okay, let's sit on that. Now let's go ahead and get the book of Ezekiel, chapter. Uh, 11 through 15. Basically, this is going into the Old Covenant, okay? <clears throat> this is going to the Old Covenant. This is uh, Ezekiel chapter 15 and verse 17. And the reason it says... <clears throat> uh, I'm going to start at verse 16. And it says, Therefore, say the... Therefore, say, thus saith the Lord God, although I had cast them far off among the heathen, and, and although I had scattered them among the countries, yet will I be to them as a yet will I be to them as a little sanctuary in the countries where they shall come. Therefore, say, thus saith the Lord power, I will even gather you from the people, assemble you out of the countries where ye have been scattered, and I will give you the land of Israel, right? And this is going, hey, this is going into the new covenant, okay? Because, hey, all Israel is scattered across the four winds of this planet, man, okay? 
But, hey, only the elect of Israel, hey, the Lord's going to gather the elect of Israel together, man. Okay, because two-thirds going to have to be cut off and die, man. Okay? The Lord is going to gather his uh, elect together, man. Okay? The two-thirds going to be brought forth through the Lord, through the one-third elect, man. Okay? And I pray and hope that we are part of that number. Okay? Verse 18. And they shall come hit thither. They shall come thither, and they shall take away all the detestable things thereof, and all the abominations thereof from this. And I will give them one mind, and I will put a new spirit within you. And I will take the stony heart out of their flesh, and will give them a heart of flesh. Okay? So, hey, the Lord is going to literally put the law, statutes, and commandments within us, man. Naturally going to be programmed within us to do what's right, man. Okay, we never gonna go off in the kingdom, man. Okay, we're gonna be 100% uh, per per uh, perfected, man. Okay, a perfected Hebrew Israelite, man, is what we're going to be, man. Okay, what, what, how can you, like, what, what's better than being perfect, man? Okay, well, that's what the Lord is going to make it, make us to be in the kingdom, a perfect people, man. Okay, all the heathen nations. Going to look up at us and be like, man, these these people are perfect, man. They are perfect. Okay? And what and what we're going to do in the kingdom under the rulership of Yahweh Bashimi Shai, under Yahweh Shai, under King David, the 12 apostles, hey, we going to establish order. Okay? We are going to establish order upon upon these damn heathens, man. Okay, they gonna follow our law, statute, and commandments, man. Then guess what? Everything gonna flourish, man. Okay, only nation that's not gonna be promised to live after a thousand years is Esau, Edom. Okay, verse uh, twenty, that they may walk in my statutes and keep my ordinances. Okay, what are the ordinances? The law, statute, and commandments that the Lord gave us. Okay. That was spoken orally via through Moses, okay? Okay? And do them, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God, okay? So, hey, the Lord is literally going to dwell within us, man. We're going to do what's right in the kingdom, man. we never going to go off. We're going to keep all the high holy days. <coughs> so, like, y'all just choked on something a little bit. So, like, we're going to keep all the high holy days perfectly. We're going to uh, keep the Sabbath holy perfectly, man. Okay, we're going to be in complete order, man. There's not going to be no hate towards one another. Okay, the uh, women going to be in order. Okay, because, hey, man, hey, what, what, what the Lord has in stock for us, man, is very, very precious, man. So to, to give up on this truth, man, and, and turn back into the world, man, you a fucking loser, man. Okay, you are a loser, man. Okay, because what happens with a loser? They give up and they don't want to do anything no more. Okay, and guess what? You failed to finish your course. And Lord forbid any of you brothers and sisters are like that, man. And Lord forbid me. Okay? Because at the end of the day, man, the kingdom is something to look forward, man. Okay? Because of the Lord said, Fear not, little flock. It is the Lord's, it is, it's Yahweh's good pleasure to give you the kingdom, man. Okay? So the Lord want, want, want us to inherit the kingdom, man. Okay? All right? God, that's why I want to select like that Luke uh, 14 was supposed to be John 14. God, I'm going to get this and I'm going to get the last precept I'm going to sign on off. Lord, wouldn't this less edifying to those they may watch. Get the book of John, chapter 14. Okay. Book of John, chapter 14, verse 1 through 2. And the reason it says, <clears throat> Let not your heart be troubled. Ye, be ye, that ye believe in Yahweh, believe also in me. Okay, let not your heart be troubled, man. Okay, when, when these things coming, man, these coming to pass, man. That, hey, man, don't let your heart get troubled, man, because hey, these are all prophecies that got to come to pass and, and, and issue the kingdom to be brought forth. Okay, we got to go through it, man. We got to go through it. Okay, we got to go through it in order to be able to obtain the victory. Look, in reality, we already got the victory already, man, via through your house shine, man. Okay. Via through Yahweh Shah, we already got the victory, man. 
Because when the scriptures say endure hardness as a soldier of Mashiach Yahushai, hey, that word soldier goes into a, a, a champion, man. What is a champion? A winner. A champion is somebody that obtained victory, man. So, hey, we already got the victory if we are enduring hardness as soldiers, man. Okay? All right? Verse 2. In my father's house are many mansions. If, we're, if it were not so, I would have not. I would have told you. I go and go to prepare a place for you. Okay, what is that place? The kingdom, man. Okay, hey, man. The Lord created the vastness of the universe, man. It's so many galaxies and planets to inherit, man. Okay, because this 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 this, this world that we live in is for us to inherit it. This universe that we live in is for us to inherit, man. Because the Lord said that the, his, it's his good pleasure to give us the kingdom, man. Okay? So, hey, all these things that we see that uh, the, the, the NASA we talking about, the different stars, the different solar systems, the different planets, different galaxies, and stuff like that. Hey, these things the Lord made for us to inherit, man. Not for Esau, man. Not for these heathen nations. That's why they can't travel out in space, man. Okay? Because this is was made for our inheritance, man. Okay? This is made for our inheritance, all right? All right? So, hey, verse 3, and it says, <clears throat> And if I go prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, and that where I am, that ye may be also. Okay, so, hey, man, the Lord prepared a place for his, his people, man, which is the kingdom to inherit the world, man, Lord, inherit the different planets, man, inherit different galaxies, man. Each brother in the kingdom, man, is going to literally have their own galaxy, man. Lord willing, that's going to be his galaxy to deal with, man. Okay? <laughs> this is something to think of. That's why it says I have not seen and nor heard, man. Nor enter into the hearts of men the things that Yahweh Bashimi Shah has has prepared for them that love him. So that's why, man, we gotta think about this and be thankful for Yahweh Bashimi Shah, man. Because hey man, the Lord ain't have to do this, man. Okay? The Lord ain't have to do this for us, man. He did this out of his 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 love for us, man. He did this because he loved us so much, man. Okay, we the only people that was given the law, statute, and commandments to be perfect, man. To be an example to the rest of these heathen nations on how to be perfect, man. Okay, but we it's our fault for why we fail, man. Okay, we fail. Okay, we fail as a people, but hey, we on the rise again, man. Okay, we on the rise again, man. We are becoming a strong people, man. Okay, we are becoming that that unit again. Okay, because hey, when we get the law statue, hey, we almost in perpetual motion, man. Okay, now to sit on that, let's go ahead and get uh one more verse, and I'm gonna sign on off. Like I said, Lord willing, let's edify unto those they may watch. Okay, let's get the book of uh Revelation chapter five and verse ten. And the reason it says, <clears throat> I'm gonna start at verse nine, and it says, and they sung a new song. Saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, for thou wast slain and has redeemed us to Yahweh by thy blood out of the out of, out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. And this is talking about Yahweh Shai. Okay. This is talking about Yahweh Shai giving us the understanding of the scriptures, man. He redeemed us back to the Heavenly Father, man. Because once A, hey, the Heavenly Father was A, hey, the Heavenly Father was silent. Well, well not, not, not silent as in like he wasn't watching. Hey, the Lord is watching the whole time. Okay. But the Lord had had to send these nations on us so we we can remember ourselves as in get our shit together. Now that final and terrible nation is upon us, hey, now we are starting to rise back up. Okay. Well, as we are rising up, Esau is falling down. That's why, hey, we. That's why Second Ezra six tells us that, hey, Esau, hey, let's go ahead and get it before we go back to that. Second Ezra six. I'm start at verse uh six and go to nine. 
And the reason it says, then did I consider these things and they all were made through me alone and through, through none other by me. Also, they shall be ended by none other. Then as I had said, what shall be the part of the asunder of times or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, for Abraham and to, unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob held, had hand held first the hill of Esau. And this is all the spiritual meaning because, hey, as we are rising up, we if you ever seen <clears throat> a, a bucket, okay, and a rope, okay, when that uh when when somebody um when somebody pulls pu put water in that bucket, it's literally start pulling the other side of the rope. Until eventually the bucket ends, uh, the, to the bucket hits the ground and the bu rope comes through the other side. Okay, that's basically what's happened with Esau. Okay, getting pulled down out of power as we rise up, man. Okay, hi, hi. so like that's not a good analogy. Basically, <clears throat> the other side is getting pulled down while the other side rises up. Okay, that's basically what happened. Okay, then let me, let me say the analogy better. Okay, so say the bucket is all on the ground, right? And somebody is pulling on the other side, right? Somebody is pulling the other side down, downward, okay? But the bucket is now rising up, okay? That's basically what happened with Esau. We are not, not saying anything, don't take it wrong way, okay? But, but we are like that bucket is being risen up in that analogy, okay? Being risen up. And that other side of the rope is getting brought down. Okay? That's Esau. That's Esau's kingdom, man. Being brought down. We are being risen back up. Okay? Verse 9. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Okay? So Esau Edom is the end of this world. Okay? But Jacob is the beginning of it that follow. What is that beginning? A, a life flourishing, man. Okay? That's the beginning of it that followeth. Okay? Okay, that's it on that, but let's go ahead and get back to the uh, Revelation 5 and 10. But continue on, verse 10, and the reason it says, <clears throat> And has made us unto our power, our God, kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. So hey, every Israelite can be a, uh, every Israelite man can be a king, uh, can be a priest now, man. Okay, and soon, hey, we gonna be rulers over the whole earth, man. Okay, cause what did the scripture say? Ye shall sit on the, uh, ye shall sit on the thrones, judge. You should sit on the thrones, judging the. Uh, I, 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 I gotta get it. Okay. So. I ain't going to, uh, I'm not going to go to it. That's another one I want to get. Daniel, I'm going to go back to that. Slaki, I was butchering it, but I'm going to get this one instead. Let's get Daniel the seventh chapter, verse 18. And the reason it says, but the saints of the king, the saints of the most high shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever and ever and ever and ever. Okay. Meaning forever. Okay. As in infinity. Okay. Eternity, man. Okay, that's why the scriptures say, "World without end." Cause hey, our our kingdom that's coming, it's not gonna be. It's gonna be a world without end. I mean, it's not gonna be taken down. Okay, it's not gonna be taken out, taken down. Esau Edom is not gonna rise back in power and take Israel down. No, he gonna be ultimately eradicated off the face of the planet, man. Thus saith the Lord. Okay, we gonna take the kingdom and possess it and live. And it's gonna be forever and ever and ever. Okay, let's go and get back to the Revelations 5 and 10. Let's get the point. We we'll read it and it says, And he has made us unto our God kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. Okay, so hey, we are going to run, we're going to have, we're going to have rulership on this planet. Okay, the Lord is going to make us into those kings again, man. All right. So I pray and hope that this lesson is edifying to those that may watch, giving no honor, no glory, no praise to do to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Kwakadash, 
Double Irons, a great minister, at our apostle with teaching her will. Peace and salutations to the whole for elect to scatter abroad. Till next time, to the next video. Salawan, Kormashirala, Bada Ball.